Hey everybody, Bill here. I'm so excited. I just got my hands on a brand new set of Chinese carbon wheels. Now they're from a company called Panda Podium, and I know what you're thinking. Buying Chinese carbon wheels out of China seems a little scary, and I'm gonna go unbox them, take them to Gearhead, get them set up, and then give you a full review. So here we go. Let's go do some unboxing. Let's unbox these wheels. So hey, just to clarify real quick, these are the Kraftwerk wheels, or the CRW Works, the GX36 gravel wheel set. And I bought them off the website Panda Podium. Joe Winningham is the distributor, uh, or the, the founder of this website, and he's the one who kind of is the middleman between what seems like a, a different market and like the wild west of carbon wheels to give us assurance that what we're buying is actually legit and awesome and still super affordable. I work at a university. We have a mail room. I get a text message saying I have a package. I call over, I was like, any idea what I, the package is? And they said, it's a big box, but it doesn't weigh anything, so we're not sure what's in it. I was like, that's good news. I am so terrible at getting images stuck in my head. So I had this salsa mountain bike that I was gonna ride at Unbound. And one of my buddies was like, dude, by the time you're at the end of Unbound, you're gonna be feeling like you're dragging an anchor around. Okay, I couldn't unsee that, and I had to get a canyon. Then, whenever I got this canyon, it, it came with it didn't come with wheels, so I had to buy entry level wheels that I could afford. And I asked the other guys, like, "Hey, why did you upgrade from the basic entry level to begin with when when you owned them?" And he said, "Because they felt sluggish." And so now, when I see my wheels, all I see is a slug. Okay, the weight of these DT Swiss wheels, I'm converting everything to pounds because I'm super American. The weight of those DT Swiss wheels is almost four pounds. This current setup is 2.75 pounds. So that's shaving off 1.25 pounds. Then the tires that I rode last year were the WTB Venture 700 by 50, which are also that's some of the slowest light. tires you can ride, which is hilarious that I chose those and rode them at Unbound. So double offense, but anyways. I rode those. This year, I'm using the Tufo Thunder HD 700 by 48, and they are 1.1 pounds, whereas the Ventures were 1.46. One review I saw said that when you unbox them, you're not sure if there's actually rim tape because it looks so good, and that is accurate. Man, these are so light. This is crazy. All right, I have new wheels for my next race, which is Unbound 200. And compared to last year, I'm gonna be dropping um, two and a half pounds for my bike setup, just because of the wheels and tire selection. Here's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting more comfort, more speed, better acceleration, better handling on the flats and hills. And also I'm expecting more fear going downhill on gravel. Let's go get them set up. There's Charles. He's the man. Oh no! So we have some lovely new wheels over here. I think is what I see by this speaker. Uh, Bill had told me they were going to be here. So there they are. They really do look neat. I was told that the uh, the rim tape tricks people because they, they think they think there's no rim tape. Like on me, it. like 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 just now. Yeah. Oh, listen to that. I mean, they ten out of ten feel like a badass carbon wheel. Uh, it doesn't feel heavy, feels real light, like cool bladed spokes, uh, it's brand new wheel, so it's always like simple pleasures in life, uh -huh. but like good taut spokes are nice. So I, I it, it's a lightweight wheel set, um, Mr. Bill is not 
uh, doing enduro or cross country or any trail riding on this bike, so we're gonna go with these ones. So hi, I'm a lock ring out of the package. 12 mil through axle. What a nerd, what a nerd, what a nerd. Yo! Hey everybody! Thanks for hey, watching! Dr. Nick. So I'm not being paid to say any of this. I'm literally a guy who knows nothing about wheels, but the experience from what I had in entry level to these craft wheels is... Let's get the official test underway. Hey, while you're watching these highlights, I'm gonna go ahead and give you my review of what I experienced with these wheels and why I think they are superior to my DT Swiss wheel set. So number one, they're more comfortable. This might all be on my head but I felt like I was riding on a different bicycle, like a pro bicycle, to be honest. It's way more comfortable. Number two, it was way faster. So my speed for this similar route wasn't incredibly faster compared to what I'd normally do, but um, I live in the flatlands and wind can honestly play such a major role in speed. And then number three, uh, another positive experience, I had way more power. I averaged 200 watts on this ride much easier than I could have on my other wheel set. So this may go back to the fact that I was more comfortable and I could just put more power down without feeling like I'm doing something wrong. I don't really know how to explain it. There's probably a video out there that says, yeah, when you're outside, it's harder to put watts down if you're afraid of crashing. You have to use more watts to stay balanced and mentally prepared to deal with seeing blood. I don't really know. I can put power down on my stationary bike. I can stand up. I can do all those things that are re like require maximum effort without the fear of crashing. And I have an unhealthy fear of crashing when I'm outside. But I felt more confident on these wheels and tires, so maybe I had more power. I don't know. And then fourth thing, I don't really know how these compare as far as cornering goes because that's where all my crashes tend to happen is going too fast, bad balance, the bike sliding out from under me. So i um, not really sure, but I would assume they're better because that's what everybody says carbon wheels are supposed to do. These wheels far exceeded my expectation and I'm so happy I have them. So I've included just a little bit of the podcast highlights from the Nero show with Panda Podium uh, when they had uh, Joe Winningham on there in China Cycling, just to share why I felt confident about buying these, these wheels. So stick around for that final section. Thanks for watching and as always, ride safe. As I said, like you were, are, like for a lot of us, the first, the first impression we get on any of these brands, like, oh, what's, what's new? Uh, you know, even your walkarounds and some of the, some of the expos and things like that. It's just like, oh my God, look at this stuff from another planet. And I can totally, you know, I can totally understand for years and years and years, you just would have got, oh wow, that's great, but I'm never going to be able to see that. You saw a space in the market, you've created Panda Podium, now you've, given us a safer place to to buy it. Last time we talked, we've pretty much just gone live, the website and stuff. And uh, yeah, so now we've been going for like half a year. It's been different to what I thought, but it's been better than what I thought. I'd buy these products uh, in China and I'd make reviews on them and I'd say, you yeah, know, this is a great product, yada, yada, yada. And then the, the comment section was just full of people going like, where do I buy it? Where do I buy it? Where do I buy it? And I don't want to, like I buy it on Taobao, like the local marketplace. I don't want to give someone a link to some AliExpress seller who I have no idea like what service they're going to give, like will it sell them the same stuff and stuff. So 
this was kind of like Pandapodium was also kind of born to just okay, you can buy it from me. Like there, I've, I've, I've solved the problem for you. Um, my my what's the word? Uh, my credibility or like my my seal of approval on a product like that is you know that is my most thing of value and as soon as i lose that i lose everything